Yahoo, 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 YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. I am Super Genki, and in today's video, we're just going to talk about keeping sanity in quarantine. You might say this is a little dramatic, but quarantine is going to start to feel like prison after a while, because the things you do to keep yourself busy on the day-to-day -day are going to get stale, they're going to get old, and then you're going to feel like you're trapped inside of your room inside of your house. This is just going to happen because in my experience, we haven't as a race of humans in this generation been exposed to this much time of being inside of our houses. But there is a saving grace here. Some people know how to work at home. And that's what we need to do. We need to learn how to work at home. That's how we're going to keep sane. And something I think is very interesting about people that work at home is that they usually don't work in the rooms. They have these places called workspaces. And in these workspaces, they get into the right state of mind to get work done. That's what I believe we all need to focus on building during quarantine. A workspace so we can focus on getting things done. And you might think it's hard to get things done during this time of emotional uncertainty. But it is possible and it is hard. This table was upstairs in my room on the third floor. I had to bring this table down along with everything else I usually have at my desk, move it out here to the outside because that's where I said I wanted my workspace to be. I didn't leave my house so I haven't broken quarantine, but it is on the outside. Innovations like this matter so much in these uncertain times because your emotional state will usually be reflective of your visual input. And if you're seeing the same thing every single day, you're gonna start to feel like it's a prison cell, believe me, because we trap ourselves in the prisons of our own mind, trapped by our own identity. And when our identity is not allowed to go outside and interact with people, we tend to hear a lot of self-talk, a lot of inner talk. And how do we address this inner talk? You know, we don't have anyone to tell it to. God forbid you send a message to one of your friends. I recommend you do that. But we need to ask for help. We do. We need to ask for help. And if you don't ask for it, you won't receive it. So learn how to outthink your current circumstance. This is nothing new. The being a slave, being a prisoner to external circumstances is nothing new, YouTube. It's just that the circumstance right now is new because it's a novel situation. And we got to make the best of this novel situation because it's not going to come again anytime soon. So let's let's use it while we have it. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's use it before we lose it. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Just keep coming back because real talk, we're in this together and I'm telling you this, we can be more positive. That plane is loud. I didn't even know there were planes loud in Spain anymore. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.